Okay, so I have um, switched to the switch um, repairing scene. Um, I've, I've repaired 30 or so Game Boys recently, and I thought I'd have a try at a switch. I got this for £50 on eBay, which from what I understand is actually a pretty good deal, um, assuming I can recover it. I said if I can't, I guess I sell it on eBay again. Um, now, the battery, originally I checked, checked the voltage on this, it was uh, 2 point something volts. Um, and actually the charge does seem to work, so I've got it plugged into a charger, um, and it's drawing 0 0.4 uh, amps, which uh, from what I understand, the battery is charging. And in fact, actually I can see that because when I uh, chest, test a multimeter across positive and negative leg of the uh, battery, I can see it's up to 3.8. Um, I haven't managed to see if it goes past 3.8 yet. I need to leave it for quite a while, um, see if I can get it to 4 amps. Um, but when it comes to booting it, I can hold, when everything was kind of plugged in, I would hold down the power button and I would see the amps uh, after 30 seconds or 15 seconds, drop down to zero. At that point, I would have expected it to go up to about 1.5 to show that the board is booting um, and the screen is getting power. However, it drops straight back to 0.44, which is telling me that um, the uh, board is not booting. So I have done some um, uh, continuity tests around this chip mostly because that's what a lot of the videos are kind of uh, talk about, kind of bad charge. Um, and uh, the, was it, the uh, uh, the capacitors around here kind of going bad, but um, that is not the issue. The capacitors across there are good. Um, what I'm going to do is switch to a uh, microscope and kind of show you where I think that it's bad and where I think the problem is. I think the problem is actually this chip. Um, so I'm going to switch to the uh, microscope, I'm going to have to unplug the power. This is where I think the trouble is at. So I've got my um, uh, my multimeter in continuity mode, um, and just to kind of test it, it works. Um, the capacitors around here, generally fine. All right, so one side, that Yeah. So this is where the capacitors are. Some of them are okay, but here we can see it's got continuity, here it's got continuity, here it's got continuity, and I think the trouble is this chip here. Um, it seems in, unlikely that all of these uh, capacitors have blown, and in fact there's no real kind of visual evidence that that's the case. So, um, what I understand is that this is a, um, I can't remember what the, the there's, there's balls basically, balls of solder underneath this. It's pretty small. I have only done a little bit of surface mounted kind of um, uh, chip removal. I haven't ever <laughs> added a chip in, and from what I understand that the um, these ball based um, chips n are very delicate basically and very tricky. In all the videos I've seen, I, I've not seen anyone replace this yet and it might be that I haven't found a video that does that. I might be that I'm looking at the completely wrong place but I think from uh, the, the model number, this is a power management chip, um, I think that the power is running through this this steps up to the uh, voltage that is needed for the screen and the CPU, maybe. Um, so, really my question is, is that, has anyone attacked this chip before? And do they have any tips? Because I am a little bit nervous about trying to fix it. Thanks in advance.